Action taker. Everyone action taker. At least type action taker. Right. So great, great. So uh, action taker is very, very important. Uh. By the way, I told him what stocks to buy uh, until now he have not buy. So... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Just kidding. I'm a bad, a bad student. <laughs> no, no, not really. Because he's been making a lot of money from property as well. So I, I, I got quite a number of questions for Eric today. And uh, anyone who got questions about wealth creation, feel free to ask us. Yeah. He is a uh, really very experienced in property market. And for me, I have a little bit of experience in the stock market, in uh, equities. Wow, he's super good. <laughs> like, everyone, please follow him on his... Uh, it's okay, it's okay. But later, 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 we will give yeah. you the link. Lah. Don't worry. So today yeah. is all about chit-chatting. And mm. plus, because uh, Sean is super good in investing in stocks. Lah. So please, if you have any questions, also, uh, please, please just ask lah, so that uh, he can value add. Ma. Sure. Because if you ask me stocks, lah, sorry, lah, I be here. Also. So ask, ask, ask the power, power one, power one. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Kim Leong. Hey, Ruth. And... Hello. How are you? Yes, great, great. So, okay, without further ado, let me ask the first question. Oh, you prepare already, ah? Yeah, I see. Oh, fast, yeah. Action taker, do <laughs> work. I'm the I'm the hard I'm the hard working one because I know as genius as a. Uh, hey, no, 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 actually, I, I, I asked like, I asked okay. It's I a very hard working. Yeah. How is the current market condition for stocks? Hey, did, did, this is uh, the homework prepared by me. You just read <laughs> <feel laughs> out only, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you must put the laughing uh, button. Uh, no, just kidding. Laugh. Now, so <laughs> so okay, guys. Uh, in two zero, in two zero two zero. Frankly, I was a bit surprised that the stock market recovered so fast. Now, on high side, right, during a dip, the stock market typically will suffer very quickly. And then after that, it recovered actually quite fast. Mm -hmm. So this year, the question that a lot of people are asking me is, is it too late? Is it too late to jump into the stock market right now? How many of you have this particular question? You can also type in. Uh, if it's you, you can type me. Yeah, or if you have already benefited from the rise in stock market, congratulations. I think many of you guys know that last year, making 50, 80, 100% is something like almost anyone can do. You don't need a guru to guide you. You just throw your money in the stock market, it will bounce back up at least 30, 50 to even 100%. So this is the question a lot of people ask me. Is it too late? I'll be sharing on that. Now, what about the property market? It also went out a lot. I think it goes in almost in the same like stocks. La. So mm. I think previously during the one year ago, mm. so if you, if you look at one year ago, the Facebook Live, that I have done with Sean. And you must thank Sean. Uh. Sean, is the, uh, Sean is the one that uh, keep on encouraging me to do Facebook Live. So that is the first one last year. And when I remember I talked about uh, that one, COVID. Uh. Ha I think haven't COVID. Uh. Otherwise, you cannot meet up, right? Eh, no, la, COVID. It was really happening, but haven't locked down. Yeah. So I, I, anyway, I, I remember during the COVID times, I, uh, I told people there's a lot that will be a sharp, like what you call that V curve, la. like, like it will go down because mm. COVID, la. so it will, it will go back, it will recover fast. Mm. So I told people to, if you have the, if you have the means, try to get one during bad times. La. So, so that is one of the biggest tips that I gave. I don't know whether you have bought your property during at that time because uh, later, later, me and Sean will be show, will, will be sharing like what will we uh 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 be doing this year? Is it? Yeah, for this year and next year. Uh, yeah. for, for this year, for, for this, this one year. year. Yeah, so I hope that those people who haven't do, but is this the right time to buy? Uh, is it too late? Uh, what will happen? Like, because a lot of people kept on talking about cooling measures, things like that. Uh. So I also want to hear of views. Whether have you invested last year? Mm. Like, uh, I believe Sean, uh, you always have been investing. Okay, but by I frankly, let me share with you mm -hmm. openly. Uh. So last year, because I wasn't very sure about the market condition, mm -hmm. especially when COVID hit, it is something very new. And I, I want to just say this. So a lot of people say, wow, the market will have a V-shaped recovery. And mm -hmm. on high side, it really happened. But at that point in time, I did not invest a lot. Okay. So I invest about 30% initially. Then I increase my percentage as the stock price increased. So this is the portion I want to tell you guys. Huh? I didn't invest at the bottom. At the bottom of the stock market, I put in 30% only. Then as the stock market increased, I put in another 20%. So hit 50%. So I go in phases, which is something I want to tell you guys is investing it is like a long-term game. It is not a game that... You go in the, at, the, at the correct moment exactly, then mm -hmm. you go out. Mm -hmm. So right now, right, I've invested up to even 70 plus to almost 80% of my cash. This is happening right now. The reason why I'm excited to invest rather than put inside cash, right, is because of this thing that many of the governments are doing. Can you all guess what is that? It is actually printing money. It's really printing money. So uh, uh, someone is asking, is it better to keep cash now or go for options? Personally, I do not like to keep too much cash. 
the money that you're holding right now is becoming less and less valuable. The more they print, the less valuable it is. Mm -hmm. Just like there's only one Eric, so he's very valuable. Whoa. Imagine we clone <laughs> two or three Eric. Uh. The one who care about this one, uh. he's not valuable anymore. All right. So, but for cash, unfortunately, there's a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is something. Yep. Okay. So uh, anyway, today I will not be talking like so much because it's not my not my tongue. So so I think okay. I think I want to ask ask uh, Sean uh, a lot of things because I do not know anything about stocks. So as a beginner, I want to ask Sean that uh, I have zero in my portfolio. Uh. Although Terrible. I buy a lot in properties, but I, I don't have anything in my portfolio. Mm. So I, I I want to seek your advice uh, as a friend. Hey, you don't, uh, uh, for, for me to expand my portfolio, what should I start? Uh, I also hope to have some gains. So mm. I don't want to buy those very powerful, powerful amounts of a conservative. I don't want to be very conservative. Oh, so keep uh, hand, keep hand. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So I want to buy and uh, I mean, we all want to make money. Lah. So as a beginner, what should I look out for? Okay. Okay, great. Beginner, lah, I got nothing. Lah, so yes. I want to start. So beginner, right? I want to share something. It is more important what the shape, the shape of your portfolio looks like rather than the size. A lot of people who got a lot of money, sometimes they all enter into one particular stock. Now, again, if you are a very seasoned investor, I will advise something different. Huh? Mm. But if you're very new, aim to actually collect a basket of stock, about 15 to 20 stocks. Yeah, must be like that one. Wow, okay, yeah. everyone type 15 to 20 stocks. What a lot, eh? Yeah, but <laughs> we, we, we collect them one by one. Now, let me share with you a cheat code, uh, a, a super hack. A super what hack super is this, hack? Uh? Yeah, super hack. How to immediately mm. get 15 to 20 stocks very quickly, right? Is to buy into this thing called index ETF. Now, index wow. ETF, Everyone yes. type index ETF. Everyone type index ETF. Okay. Type for so, me so that yeah. I can refer back. Well, like that, I really have to go into lecture mode. <laughs> uh. so, so index, right? It's basically, uh, you will hear things like, oh, the stock market is up by how many points? The stock market is down by how many points? When they say stock market, right? It is not really talking about the whole entire stock market. Mm. But typically, they take like maybe 30 stocks to represent the market. So in mm. Singapore, we have the Straits Times Index. In US, we have Dow Jones 30. We have S&P 500. They take like 30 stocks, 500 stocks to represent the stock market. Okay. So there are a lot of people, right, who eventually created ETF, exchange traded fund, funds, uh, that buys into these 30 stocks. And then, okay, no, you just buy into the so-called stock market. Very quickly, if you buy one share of, let's say, STI ETF, immediately you have 30 stocks in your portfolio already. And I want to share something. Um, for Singapore, mm. if you are Singaporean or if you know about Singapore, right, uh, it has not fully recovered. It has not recovered back to the COVID period. My question is this, do you believe it will recover to at least the COVID period in the next two to three years? If you believe so, right, it is not too late to invest right now because if it recovers, you will also make money. Will it recover a lot? Will you make a lot of money? That one is a secondary uh, question and there's ways to increase the returns one by using options. Uh. Later, if I got time, I talk about it. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, so this is index ETF. Okay, wait, then, then let me interrupt. Uh. Yeah. Then can I choose the 15 to 20 stocks on my own? You can, uh, but more expensive no? because you know what? Uh, uh, for example, you want to buy DBS, it's about $18, $20, and then you have to buy 100 ma, so that's $2,000 already. Okay. Then you want to buy another OCB, COB, you have to buy a SPH. You, you have to construct the same thing. Uh, probably you need, okay, off my mind, uh, I'm just thinking, you probably you need maybe about $50,000 to, to buy that 30 stocks. However, the ETF, right, they buy for you. Uh, they take maybe oh, $1,000 okay, okay, from okay. you, $1,000 from you. Okay, okay. They buy for you and split into like lots for you. So, so you can just, hmm? okay, let, let's say money, uh, let's say I have 50K. Uh, uh, so which one is better? If you have 50K, uh, I, I tell you uh, four digits. Uh, then this Saturday, I think. No, I'm just <laughs> okay, so, so if you have 50K right now, again, depending on what you want to achieve in the stock market, mm. if you want to just hey, let it ride, don't want to think too much, don't want to invest into individual stocks, ETF is one of the best ideas. You don't okay. have to because worry they, too much. They do everything for you. Everything for you, done for ah, you. Okay. Uh, a second idea, if you have 50, 50K, right? maybe you buy into Warren Buffett's uh, company better. Like Berkshire Hathaway. Ah. They, they, they always beat the ETF. They are, they are much stronger, okay. given time. So again, you buy ready-made. Like. These are ready-made portfolio. But if you want to really become a solid stock investor, you can collect one by one. Because every time you collect, you do not just collect a stock, you collect experience, you collect knowledge. So, but if you're the lazy type, uh, for a start, you just buy the ETF first. Huh? But yeah. I'm, I, I tell you what, uh, I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm very lazy one. So I can tell, I, can I, tell. Yeah, yeah. So I, I got, okay. I learned one thing, which is to copy the very high one. So yeah. Sean, you just tell me mm. if, okay. 
if I want to go into ETF, ah. I will want to ask, do you have ETF? Yeah. Then do you have the what fifth, the, the 15 to 20 stocks that you 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 like you 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 choose? Oh, so you choose one one one. Okay, I, I share with you guys something. Uh. Uh. So actually, personally, I do have a Singapore ETF. Because at the point in time, I say, hey, it's so, so cheap, eh? Uh, it's called EWS, the ticker symbol. Bye bye through the New York Stock Exchange, uh, EWS. E the EWS. Yeah. Okay. And I also EWS. Uh, EWS. Uh. Hey, by the way, again, all the disclaimer uh, is not a recommendation. I'm just sharing with you openly my. Yeah, everyone, we are chit chatting on here. So, and it's something that I want to learn. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah. Don't have. So, so, oh, yeah, but I cannot share the screen on both sides, right? That, uh, doesn't matter, but I just quickly share. I just quickly share. So, example, uh, what, what, other day, what other things do I buy? I just share with you guys. Uh. Okay. So, in case you all can see, uh, you can see I have EWS here. EWS, I bought the share. I also bought, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I also bought Thailand ETF, THD, THD. This is the Thailand ETF. So you can see uh, EWS and THD make me about 29%, make me about 46% already. This is your portfolio? This is my portfolio. And, and oh, this one, yeah. uh, this one, uh, okay. La, so overall, there are, there are some that went down la, like Alibaba. I mean, we all know Alibaba went down, but the rest all go up like crazy. La. Okay, then the one that, that's my favorite. La. If you want to make 20%, guys, if you want to make 20%, this is the, this is the secret. La. I. I cannot recommend you. I cannot recommend you. Let me share with you. This is what I will do if I want at least 20%. I will buy into this stock called BRK. Let me explain. Huh? You can see for BRKB, how much do I make already? Hey, by the way, this one, oops. For BRKB, right? I This one, I just entered this year, January, this year. So BRKB, I can see it is, how much do I make? Uh, about 61% already. Huh? On oh, sorry, 79 percent. Wow. 79 percent. Now let, let me let me share with you something. Uh. It, it is it is something very, very safe, in my opinion, because it is actually done by Warren Buffett. And, and to me, it is something that uh he he is more correct than me. I believe in him more than me. Mm. You can see uh, hey, Warren Buffett stocks never go up by 70%. How did I create by 70%? Uh, uh, allow me to share this concept. Please write this down. You can buy a long-term call on Warren Buffett stock. A long term call. Okay, this one is a big technical. I'm so sorry. Or option. It is like you put a deposit on Warren Buffett stock. So, Warren Buffett stock, let's say it's $200. You put a $40 deposit to lock in the price at $200. So, you okay. put $40. So, the stock is $200. Uh. I try, to try my best to explain. Uh. So, okay. as the stock price increase, uh -huh. okay, you actually make money. Eh. So, from $200, the stock price from $200 goes to, let's say, $220. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is actually a 10% increase. Okay, because right. two, $200 to $220. Uh -huh. But you make twenty dollars, correct? Yeah. But I never buy the stock. I only put a deposit by buying a long term call. Let's say I put forty dollars. Okay. Forty dollars, correct? Mm. So while the stock go up, actually it's like property la, like leverage on property, correct? Uh -huh. So the stock actually increased by twenty dollars already. Mm -hmm. My capital is only forty. I mm -hmm. make fifty percent. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Correct. While the stock only increased by ten percent, I make fifty percent. This is exactly what happened. Uh -huh. So Warren Buffett stocks typically every year will go up by at least ten percent, at least minimally. Uh, but depends on, of course, the stock price fluctuation. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I know a lot of people don't like 10%. You want 20%, correct? That's where you must use uh, uh, these two called options to leverage on a very safe and powerful stock. So I don't like to go for fancy full stocks. I go for safe, powerful stock. Doesn't look that fast. I leverage on that stock using options. Now, of course, you're going you're gonna to do it rightly. That, that, that's what I do. I'm not recommending what you do. Right? Okay. Uh, uh, it's same as property. You do that, correct? Property easier la. Uh, okay, now so <laughs> let's 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 go back to property. CPS, me property can only buy one ma. Uh, Okay, okay. Hey, I, I'm very curious about property also uh, because I, I think uh it mirrors each other. It mirrors each other. Uh. Hey, so hey, hey, everyone, since we are talking about both like stocks and property uh, uh which one is easier to buy? Like uh, do you think stocks is easier? Uh, like what Sean has uh, shared, or do you uh, do you think property is easier? I just want to hear your view, lah. Because I don't want, we don't want to just like uh, fit, uh don't want to just like talk talk. Like, don't want to like entertain you all. Eh. So 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 the question now is, which one do you prefer to invest? Of course, both are the best, lah. Like example, yeah. Sean has property and also have a good portfolio of stocks. I only got property, I don't have stocks, so I should improve in that way, lah. So how about you? Okay, so people say uh, options. Okay, so we got people say options. I don't even know what is options, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Joanna say property. Uh, so uh, Lin say agree with Eric. Property is easier. Actually, uh, actually, I agree properly is easier. Frankly, frankly. Really? Yeah. Now, I, I share with you all why. Uh. In fact, in fact, if let's say you are someone very close to me mm. and uh, I will ask you to go and buy your property first. You, you know what? Uh, the problem with stocks uh, mm. is also the advantage of stocks. Stocks you can buy and sell every day. 
property you can't do that yeah, no. actually if your hands are, are not itchy you purchase an asset that is increasing in value and you give it time you'll make money mm -hmm. so property after you buy just wait up. even even if you don't feel like it you want to sell you also cannot sell you are, yeah. you are so called actually committed mm -hmm. and then given time you'll make money that's why yeah. people make money from property stocks are if you actually give it the same amount of time like three years right at least yeah at least three years you will probably also make money one but people next day see stock price drop then they then, see it. then their wife scold them how come you go and listen to this handsome looking uh person <laughs> on youtube <laughs> and then they suddenly feel like oh you i better go and sell okay. that's where that's where people lose money okay but, but frankly if you have the holding ability mm. the holding power not just money uh, but also internally right mm. actually both can make money but but property i would say it is uh, once you're committed uh, it's a mm -hmm. lot more easier mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see whether we have some questions. So, uh, we have, hey, everyone. So we take this time, like uh, uh, two, three minutes while we are just chit chatting. Just ask any questions to like ask Sean. Or you have property, you can also ask me. So a uh, payphone say property need higher capital, oh. definitely. Stocks more flexible, definitely. So which one do you like? I think different people like different. Yeah, stocks too challenging, heart attack. No lah, Genie must know him. Uh, 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 must no no master. Hey, no no no. I, I I want to be very very uh, open about it lah because uh yeah. I do agree that stock is not that not that easy because mm -hmm. because of the emotions it's really not that easy. Okay. So so uh, uh frankly uh, like what uh, someone very close to me uh, told me that the the parents so simple uh, they are, the parents they told me that uh someone close to me the parents has a sum of money mm -hmm. so they was ask, they were asking me should I pay off my my property because mm -hmm. pay off the property I can have lesser monthly mortgage, correct? Uh -huh. Or should I go and invest in the stocks? Because when they pay off mm. the property, mm. the interest is only about one point something percent, yeah, two nah. percent, correct? So if they pay off, so the, the theory is this, guys, mm. theory is one thing. Instead of paying off the loan, which is only one, two percent, you take the money, go and invest in something that can give you higher than the percentage. Term, uh. Yeah, you even, even let's say you buy a uh, Singtel or whatever, they give mm. you three to four percent dividend. Mm. It is much more than you go and pay off the loan. So opportunity cost. Now, logically it makes sense but emotionally uh, you pay off the property you really pay off there's there's it's guaranteed that uh, you pay lesser installment uh but if you go and buy stocks and the stock fluctuate right they may or may not take it okay. it is a lot internal i just want to say this up front it is not something that it's not as simple as it seems mm -hmm. logically it's okay but emotionally you gotta suck the thumb but up. if i know you're that friend uh, uh, yes. uh what will you do because to me, reducing your, your loan uh, is an uh, unwise thing to do. Eh. Mm, mm, mm. Because the interest rate cheap like shit. Yeah. <laughs> then why are you going to reduce? Because I think every hundred thousand dollars that you uh, uh, reduce your loan, I mean, if you owe like, uh, okay, let's say you reduce your loan by 100K, I think Sit the down. interest you can only reduce by $100, $100 a month only. Eh. You as well take the 100K, go and anyhow buy, buy like what? Buy what? Singtel, right? Singtel. No, no, okay, you they, can make back your money, ma. They say Singtel cannot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, actually, I, I, I beg to differ, lah. I, I think Singtel, uh, it is not the best stock, but I think still can. Lah. I mean, you think about ten years later, when it be around. Actually, actually, since I do not know anything about stocks, lah, mm. I don't like Singapore stocks. Lah. You don't like Singapore stocks, lah. Boring, sir. Okay, then how? You must ask the next five minister. I, I, I want to, I, I want to know more about like U.S. stocks, eh. like more exciting, eh. Yeah, Berkshire Hathaway, lah. So actually, okay, okay. hey, wow. Uh, okay, after this, I have to ask you back property already. Uh. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so quite a number of questions. Uh, am I moving into crypto investing? Uh, I think it's a good question. Okay. Uh, growth stock or value stock, Sean? Okay, actually, uh, maybe I answer this question first. Uh. So actually, in my YouTube, if you're in my YouTube, right, I did a video just, uh, I think last week, about dividend stock versus growth stock. So dividend stock, usually, people, they have a company mm -hmm. and the, the, the stock is slowing down. The company's growth is slowing down. That's why they give dividends. Okay. So these are called the value stocks or the dividend stocks. Growth stocks are the very hot Capit one. Like the capital gains on it. Yeah, growth stocks is like chong like crazy okay. because they are okay. like Tesla, like D-Dog, like let's say a Dropbox, uh, all the stocks that they are smaller right now. They are not making a uh, positive cash flow. They have nothing to give you, but they keep taking the money to reinvest and they grow. Now, historically speaking, let me share with you. Uh, historically speaking, a lot of people won't like to hear this. Value stocks beats growth stocks given time. You talk about one year, two year, yes, this stock go by 100%, Amazon go by how many percent, but given time, value and dividend giving stocks beats growth stock. What is the reason? Because growth stocks is always too expensive to buy. So when you ever chase, yeah, it's just like property, like, there's, there's yeah, those yeah. that, yeah, very, very pretty one, uh, very expensive, luxury one. Uh. Luxury one, right? Uh. You buy at a high price, uh. you have to wish that people pay you even higher. Correct. So, Which okay. is risky. Uh. 
No, but once in a while, there will be a property that keep going higher. Mm-hmm. Same thing, once in a while, there will be a stock. But I'm talking about historical database, research, research evidence base, right? Value stocks, dividend stocks, always beat growth stocks given time. Not, not, I'm not talking about three months or one year. So for me, actually, I position size. Uh, 70% still value kind of stocks. 30% I go into higher, faster growth stocks. So, so portfolio. Lah. So you so stocks easier to portfolio property. You can buy seven uh, mass market property and three. <laughs> you can <laughs> only buy one. <laughs> okay. So, so this is the thing. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, SAT is a good stock. I actually agree, but now they are in a lot of trouble because you know people cannot travel, correct? Good, good, good. So uh, we have people here like dividend stocks is like buying resale and rent out. Okay. Growth stock is like buying new launch. Super so, I, I be hell, eh? On theory, on theory, it sounds like that. It sounds, sounds like that. Like hey, thanks a lot, Vincent. But again, uh, based on, uh, y'all, y'all should check out, later I'll give you a link. Uh, then uh, y'all can check out my YouTube video. It is based on research, based on based on past 50, 60 years. They, they check every 10 years, right? Dividend stocks always swing growth stocks in terms of stock price increase. Eh? I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about giving dividend. Uh. So, so growth stock, right? They will keep chonging, right? Dividend stock, they will, but growth stock will fluctuate up and down. Mm-hmm. For dividend stock, it will keep going up and eventually, their increase in stock price will win growth stock. But haven't even include the dividend. Haven't even include the dividend. This so is a lot more. La. But people don't like to hear this. People don't like. Why? People, because it takes a longer time. It, it feels like it takes longer time. But actually, it's like three years, five years. They, okay, they can beat already. Okay, to property investors like us, three years is like, <laughs> yo, very short. Leh. Because they are right. you're to keep for three years. Man. Statistics is his historical figure. Totally correct. Ah. But what do you want to base your investment methodology on? on historical figure that is statistically proven year after year and updated to 2020 or based on a theory, like a theory that a growth stock can go fast. Hmm. Now, I think a lot of people feel painful. I miss out Amazon, I miss out Tesla. That's why they feel a fear of missing out. Hmm. Am I saying that these stocks won't go up? I'm not saying that. But I'm saying your portfolio should not totally consist of just one or two super fast growth stocks because it is very risky. And why you want to risk your whole entire life saving on that? So, so this is my basket. Yeah, portfolio, portfolio. Everyone type portfolio. Just I learned something today. Must just buy, portfolio. just buy BRK. Okay, Berkshire, Berkshire had the way use option. You also can make hundred percent one. Why, why need to go and risk on something that you are scared? Okay, but, but if you are, if you are confident, go go ahead for it. Okay, hey guys, I want to ask property lah. Okay, property, we must squeeze yeah. him dry. He's here. He's here. So, <laughs> so actually, actually, property ah, uh, I, I want to ask a few things. Then later we can talk about Bitcoin. Do you buy Bitcoin? Uh? Okay. Yeah, my later we can dis- discuss. <laughs> I only buy property only. Yeah. Hmm? Other thing I don't know, yeah. Okay, come, come, come. Any questions regarding uh well super interesting to hear from both of you? Ah yeah, man. Uh, learn, learn, learn stocks, learn stocks. Buy property, yeah, really go and, go and learn stocks. Uh. <laughs> no, they asked about Tesla, about uh TT is ATT, correct? Now I'm not saying individual stocks, I'm saying a portfolio of dividend stocks versus a portfolio of growth stocks. Uh la- later I'll give you guys the link now. You'll go and watch the video. It is based on research. I also don't like the research finding. But I want to invest logically. It cannot be based on how I feel, mm. all right? Uh, all, all the money in Tesla. I mean, I want to say this. Uh, maybe you are making a lot of money, but I'm not saying that everybody is suitable because they cannot stomach it. Mm. Is Tesla a good company? I think it's very strong. But why put all my money in it? Depends on your stomach. Uh. I think uh, I mean, be tight, uh. you got a very strong stomach. Uh. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, okay, great. So if for property, ah, right? Come, come, come. I, got, I got a very interesting question. Now, based on historically or last time, right? Mm. So now COVID may have changed the history of a property in my opinion. Correct. Last time it is always near central, near a business district, CBD. the property, a CBD, correct? Mm. I don't know whether overseas people know what CBD, la, but uh, central bis- a common term. is it central business district? Yeah. Okay. This yeah. property value is always the highest. But nowadays, right? The reason why it's highest because people want to go, uh, it's convenience, they're mm. going to work, mm. lesser traveling time. Yep. But nowadays, people are working from home. How many of you are working from home? If you are, can you please type WFH? F-H. Yeah, WFH. Don't, don't type wrongly. Yeah. <laughs> WFH. Yeah. Now, if you are working from home now, mm. you, do you still need a property near the CBD? And does this affect the property value? Mm. Okay, mm. that's a very good question. Actually, actually, our Singapore property, CBD is not the most expensive one. CBD is number two. Oh. Where is number one? Sentosa Co. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, just Central. Nah. Oh, is it? Or Orchard. Is oh. Orchard, I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah. So Orchard is the most expensive one. Nah. They're followed by, I mean, Orchard being, being District 9, they're after followed by uh, CBD, they're after the Oscar one. Nah. Okay, so uh, I, I think I, okay, I, start, we start, I started teaching co living. Uh, anyway, don't come for the program, uh, it's full. Uh. Okay, so anyway, uh, for co living experience, I have, I, we did it pre-COVID, so uh, most of people who 
to uh, get a unit rent okay it's called rent to rent guys just type rent to rent r to r you can call co-living for chinese you want to say sublet is a very downgrading term don't use that word okay so it's co-living so what what people do is we rent a place and we rent it out again so during pre-covid when mm. we rent a place like inter anyway international plaza uh, we are in international plaza our territory uh. so if you get a unit when you if you rent a unit in international plaza like right smack in Tarnal Plaza, and you rent it out uh, your passive mm. income minimum 2000 plus uh. mm. everyone minimum passive for one unit is 2000 plus and mm. so every time when, when i had members who say every i got a unit in cv every i got a unit in uh uh uh, in this area, la, wow, they will say what la, Jose, la, you will have a lot of money, uh, very good passive income. But right. I think uh, uh, has changed uh, after we have COVID, I think we have changed a lot. Really? Uh, because people tend to want to rent in rent near where they want to stay. Uh, when, where, where they want to work. Where, where they, they are working. working. Yeah, correct. Mm. So right now, everyone is working from home just like you. So they and they want to downgrade. Oh. Because the rooms here are very expensive. Expensive and smaller, is it? Uh Maybe? not okay. Uh, we, we tend to you choose older projects because okay. it's bigger ma. right so when we talk about the renter and a lot of people have uncertainty on their job mm. so mm. they may they don't want to stay in cbd anymore la. they want to move out mm. so previously when we just now i was saying that if you are get if you got a unit in cbd you will get about 2000 plus and mm. if you get outskirt anywhere la, you say serangoon clementi even the north side canberra in australia also can get about thousand five minimum as passive income but right now it changed a lot eh. mm. cbd i think passive income one thousand but outskirt they are still doing well about thousand five which is still okay but mm. that is about renting properties la. but if you are uh, that is just to know the rental market in cbd and so the rental market mm. in the cbd is dropping it's the dropping, rental is dropping, it's dropping a lot la. It's and, also, so it's an indication of the valuation i don't know yeah yeah so and if you know that there's not much of people renting here anymore mm -hmm. because co-living it hit it we have an impact ma. so right. previously like we have international plaza every month you're getting two thousand now you're getting one thousand like half so we so my advice is try not to get any units here so if you want to buy properties right and you uh, please don't mix up co-living and investment of properties is because Co-living, you can you can get unlimited units. You can rent like 100 units. Mm. But as to buy your property, you can only buy one, guys. And if you can only buy one, you buy the best one. Ma. Right. So as co-living, we will tend to buy uh, get those, rent those older projects. Right. Uh, because we because rental is cheaper and we can rent out the difference. But mm. when you buy your property, you don't buy old projects, ma, because old projects don't give you that uh, uh, capital appreciation. I see. That's why I want to all, I, I so every time during my live la, YouTube channel, la, I will always encourage people to focus on capital appreciation mm. when you are buying properties and not so much on rental. Because you only got one chance, you better buy something of value for the appreciation. La. Yeah, someone mentioned right, you must buy at the correct price at the correct uh the correct uh location. So you've got to do a lot more study because before you commit. Yeah, I, I correct. Important. And yeah. because right now everyone can only buy one. Like I can buy one, my, my wife can only buy one. You can buy one, your wife you can only buy one. How many wife? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Only one. <laughs> She's here. Also. In case you slip the tongue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you can only buy one. You buy the best one that you can afford. So, mm. and, and maybe let's talk about CBD. Uh, I don't encourage people to buy CBD. La. It's like, uh, it looks nice. It looks good. But here goes down one. Eh. Goes down one. Eh. Here got nothing one. Eh. That's why it's recently, yeah, yeah, here really got nothing on. That's why URA recently, uh, they came out, not recently, like one, uh, two years ago, they came out this scheme called CBD Incentive Scheme. Okay. So this scheme is to allow developers to build more residential units. Hmm. So previously, let's say, the, let's say this, this plot of land, we can build like uh, 200 units. Uh, but right now with this scheme, we can build 30% more. So it's to encourage developers to build more residential properties here to house more people la, but here still like goes la. mm. but here no people la, but so my advice is we try try not try to avoid cbd because investors are not buying into cbd because a lot of people tend to like to buy cbd so you need this kind of buyers to bring up the value in cbd and so number one covid la, they cannot come number two they cannot come they cannot buy and usually and if, they, if you don't have this kind of bias, your property will not increase. So that's why CBD is not my, is my very low choice of investment. Ah. And since you can only buy one, 
uh, not like last time you can buy a few. Like if last time you can buy a few, you can choose one maybe here, choose a few there. Mm. So if you only have one choice and one bullet, uh, uh, don't, don't buy here. You will you'll tank me a lot. Yeah. I see, I see. It's also, it really affects us. So whatever, I, I think it's important to get updated, right? And yeah, understand yeah. the reason for mm. like buying certain places. And we realize COVID do change certain things. So uh, coming back to the topic that I know, which is about the stocks, right? People mm. asking about ARK and all that. Those, you know, there are some stocks that's very affected by COVID positively. Okay. okay. Like Zuma, like uh, some people okay. call Square, uh, Spotify, all these, they are positively affected. Uh. People asking about ARK. Right, ARK. Okay, so people is talking about what's Master CR view on ARK ETF. Well, I don't even know ARK. What is ARK ETF? Okay, ARK, ARK ETF, right. ARK ETF, it is, it is. Uh, ETF, okay, ETF again, right, is basically example, right, let's say, uh, like Eric got a lot of money, right, so he actually, he okay. actually take the money, he opened up a company, a company, uh, so mm -hmm. called Eric ETF, okay, Eric right. ETF, right. he take the money to go and buy all the stocks that he want to buy, and then okay. uh, maybe all the property stocks, uh, example, okay. then he call it the Eric property ETF, okay. then he can sell his company shares and say, would you like to be a share oh. shareholder of my company, and our company's main job is to hold all these shares. Uh, so this uh, called ETF, right? Oh, okay. And then we can list in the stock market, right? Okay. So when people buy our sh your 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 shares, right? Is they are buying a share that is holding other stocks. Okay. So our ETF, right? They hold onto Tesla, Square, all the very uh, high tech stocks, very high tech stocks that is positioned to go very very fast. In my opinion, it's a super good idea to hold a bit of our ETF because, right? It yeah. really is a good idea. Okay. By the way, again, all the disclaimer. I want, to yeah, I want to share with y'all uh okay I'm gonna try a disclaimer. I want to share with y'all an uh, idea. I, I, I like to invest. disclaimer first. Uh, I disclaimer first, then okay, disclaimer. Yeah, disclaimer. Okay. So so this idea is this. I actually learned this from Reed Hoffman, who is uh the co-founder of Lincoln and his Greylock partner, which is a venture capitalist fund. He likes to split his money into 70, 20, 10. Okay, 70 is he buying into companies, he's super confident that they will continue to generate cash and very strong. So example, my list of that 70%, uh, mm. which uh, if you think about it, uh, I only got 20 stocks. Mm. So 70% is actually 14 stocks. Uh, you double, uh, 14 okay. stocks. Okay. I buy into things like Facebook, Microsoft, uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, one stock that I like that a lot of people don't know why they like, right? It's called Sketches because I like the shoes. And then I buy into uh, like, like Singapore ETF. All these are very stable stocks. Okay. I cannot imagine these stocks like crashing or going to zero. Mm. Is there a possibility? Answer is yes, but unlikely. Microsoft, well, I cannot imagine. Yeah. Google, I cannot imagine. Mm. So 70, very same one. 20, right, is those fastest growing, faster growing, they see a revenue already, but the valuation always a bit high. Example, Netflix, example, Amazon. Okay, these are very high, fast growing stock, but proven to make money. Then the last 10%, right, you buy into so-called almost startup. Right? You don't know whether they'll make money, but they have potential of becoming very big. Uh, that ten percent, you go and buy some Bitcoin. Ah, okay, that ten percent, okay. you go and buy some uh, Tesla. You go and buy. Uh, mm. They they may they may make it, they may not make it. But venture capitalists, they know one. I invest, but they invest into this ten percent. They invest into maybe ten different stocks. Huh? they just need one of them to go uh, hundred times right. They make back all the money already. That's mm. how they make money. Okay. But you cannot be everything went into. So they put it as ten percent uh, safer. Uh. Yeah, the 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 ten percent is to go for really very new startup uh. It's considered high risk. Okay, so this is the way that we do it. Okay, okay. So uh, coming back to here, which okay, platform allows uh, allow us to enter? Uh, you yeah. can use Sting or Swing. You can use <laughs> Sting <laughs> hey, or Swing. Okay, hey, I think I need to uh, write down some of this question because it's some of this question yeah, because the, the people who follow me uh, property no only no property term. Like, yeah. I also don't know your. Okay, hey, continue to ask question. In yeah. case I cannot finish answering Sting all this, right? Swing. Later I will give you a link for you to continue to ask question. Then oh, I will send you okay. all the answer. Wow, I, I think it's easier. Wow, very very good. Eh. Uh, Sting or swim, inshallah. Hey, thanks, thanks a lot for typing, uh, Edward. Okay, great. So this is the idea, 70, 10, 20, 10. I think it's something that's a more... What's Master Xia full name? What lao eh? What's it? Sean Xiao? You want my NRIC number? <laughs> <laughs> you need Sean, Sean. Yeah, call me Sean. Sean or Sean Xiao. Sean. Seminar for upgraders, uh, swim. Swim. Uh, no, this one is the person's name. Okay, so, okay. Uh, sing or swim? Sing or swim? Ting la, ting, ting, ting. Okay, ting. but... Oh, okay. Hey, by the way, I want to say upfront, stock market, is something accessible to everyone, but not suitable for everyone, based on my experience. I want to touch my heart and tell you that, uh, although I do have like investing program and all that, but I see a lot of people after teaching them, it may not be the correct appetite. I, I want to say that, okay? No, even I, they do the 70, 20, 10 book, okay? 
I tell them to do lah, but will they do lor? Correct. Just it's like you tell people to, you tell people to, to invest. Will they invest? Correct. Ah, right. Yeah. So, so I, I. Oh, thanks a lot, uh, Jonathan. Okay. Hey, uh. Okay. Maybe, maybe later I answer one more question. Uh. I think someone was asking me, how to buy BRK. Okay. Later I answer that. But I'll go back to another. So we are going back and forth because it's a talk show. Uh. Yeah, yeah. It's a chit chat show lah. Uh. So. We, I'm here to learn from Sean. <laughs> Get a lot of tips from him. How do you how do you find the valuation of a property and price appreciation? Five minute learning with Mabel and Mavis. How can we find out the valuation of the property and price appreciation? Uh, you won't know the price appreciation, but uh, you will know to okay, how to value a property. Uh, if you don't know, it's like a science to you lah. Uh. <laughs> but okay uh, Anyway, uh, so what I teach my program is I'll teach people how to value a property, but. So I learned from valuers. So everyone, you've got to learn. So valuers will know the property value best. Uh, so because as a banker, we also need to check the valuation from the bank. From, from the, uh, so as a banker, we need to check the value from the valuers, yeah. which is tied up in the panel of the banks. Ma. So valuers are the person who knows the best. They study, I think, two years to get a cert to be a professional valuer. Ma. Okay, so they taught me two, uh, three things. So everyone, mm -hmm. three, three things. Uh. Mm. So number one is size. Height size. Size. Okay. Size. The bigger the property, the cheaper the per square feet. The smaller the property, the higher the per square feet. So that's number one. That's it's all about logic. But if you do not know how to value, you will know that yeah, what is that? Is it like it's very it's like art like that? Art that like you don't don't know. Uh. Okay, so number one, size. Bigger the property, cheaper the per square feet, smaller the size, higher the per square feet, which is which is logic. Number two, it go by floor. Uh, every floor has an has a value. So usually mass market condos go up by five, seven thousand. The very, very expensive property uh, maybe goes up by maybe ten thousand per floor. So five to seven is a good guide. So number three is uh the view. Uh, so stack. A different view, view, uh, different stack, got different view. Uh. So for mass market, so if you want to learn uh how to value mass market condo, uh, that one is very easy. There's only one and two steps only because don't have view. Uh. What kind of view you have? Uh, swimming pool view, expressway view, uh, HDB view. Uh, so that one very easy. So so you just need to uh, uh, focus on the size and the floor. But let's say we talk about CBD. Uh, something very special, uh, example, Marina Bay, uh, and, uh, Marina Bay residences, uh, the sale, MBR, well, all the Marina Bay properties that faces the Marina Bay sense, the tree tower, the casino. Uh, that one is a million dollar view, so that can increase uh maybe two, maybe three, three to five hundred dollars per square feet higher than those that has no view. Mm. So uh so 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 that so so you need to have the skill to put these three things together in order to know the valuation of property, but also check the past six months transaction history. Uh so that will give you a guide of the market price. Huh? So talking about price appreciation. Huh? Uh, yeah, very easy one. Uh, buy in areas that got growth no? development. Uh, right. Yeah, must have future developments around the area. Uh. If let's say you buy an area in uh, uh in a area with only got forest, <laughs> where you got growth, there's nothing there. Uh. Uh, but okay, and plus uh a lot of people may ask me that oh, if you buy in an area that has forest, uh, later there will be developments. Yes. But how long do you want to wait for them for government to come out like uh, the zoning everything? So mm -hmm. I'm I'm a I'm a short term investor. So I will always look for the short term is what actually not short term investor. I, the I, short term is minimum three, three. Uh, minimum three years long. Yeah, you tell yeah, them for stocks is three, you tell them was three, three days minutes. they sell in three days. Uh. Oh, people three minutes on eh? Three minutes. So okay, okay. sorry. Yeah. So that's why I like property. Yeah, in, prop in yeah because this is uh, yeah the, the correct term. Uh, so I like to buy something I can hold. So property I already have that kind of. Character to hold already, so stocks I think is quite easy for hey, me. What, what, what you say is very important. Eh? So for those who are in, in Singapore, especially or mm -hmm. in uh, anywhere, correct, uh, property really did make a lot of people millionaires. If you check Singapore, yeah. we have the highest density of uh, millionaires, and a lot of them is through property. Mm -hmm. uh, stocks make a lot of people super ultra rich, but you must be able to stomach it. Mm -hmm. And 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 with that aspect, right? Uh, just now, Eric mentioned must have future potential growth, right? Similar yeah. for stocks. You, you buy the stock there, like example, you buy to McDonald's. Uh, mm. uh, I, I, can't, I can't imagine them having additional huge growth because they do have plans to grow a lot. Giant like Guido. Okay. <laughs> they, grow, they grow the size of their burger. Uh. Now, so, so that comes to the question people ask me, the ARK one. Which ARK is the best? ARK wow. ETF, right? Huh? Got space exploration. Got uh, 3D printing. Hey, frankly, uh, go for the one that you believe the future can grow a lot. Okay. Uh, 
I, I, I think that all sounds very fanciful, but which one do you have a little bit of understanding like, at least? So got tech, got space. Yeah. Wow. So the space one, like ARKK, -A I think is the most consumable. Like Tesla, Square, all this like I mentioned, okay. is ARKK. That one I can swallow because I can I can you see can Square. See. Yeah. I can see uh, Spotify. I can see Tesla. Okay. Easier to understand. Space exploration sounds very cool. Uh. Those that sound very cool, don't pretend that you understand. A lot of people like to pretend, yeah, I know this. I, I read about this. Then you talk about space. How much do you know about space exploration? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. Okay. But one thing I like, one thing I like. Maybe I give you all one more ticker symbol. If you all don't mind, uh, again, please do your own homework. Do your home I own homework. Uh. I-C-L-N. 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 This is the Green Energy ETF. To me, ah, I am okay. Okay. super, okay, to me now, I really feel super confident 10 years, uh, 10 years time frame. This sector will grow okay. super big. I-C-L-N. Yeah, so I, I clean. It's, a, it's an ETF. They buy a lot of those. ETF. Uh, uh, it's ETF. Okay. So this, this they, they, they buy companies that do like uh, wind, wind energy by, uh, or water, like uh, hydro energy la, okay. or solar energy. Now, all this, right, you think about it, every country is trying to go green. Every yeah. listed company is, is going green. There's no way clean energy sector will go down. I, I cannot believe. Mm. But, but I mean, be wrong. Uh. So in the end, although I say until, oh, I sure confirm everything. In the end, I only invest like 10%. Uh, most. Yeah, but at least you do. Uh. Okay. I will uh. do, I do. Yeah, a right. Everyone, there's I only it. one thing I regret, which, uh, which we did the uh, Facebook Live one year ago. So at that time, I think whatever things, anyhow you buy, uh, what you make, I uh, me chow chow hundred percent, correct? Uh? No, the, the, minimum, not, uh, minimally 30, 50. No, uh. that, that was before pre COVID, uh, before the circuit breaker, uh. or before COVID. At that time, I oh yeah, buy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think then I didn't now. buy, mm. but okay lah. Uh, uh, so I will. Uh, so the uh, I'm interested in the LCR, uh, but I will do my own due diligence also lah. Uh. Hope for ten years, uh, Hope for ten years. Right. I don't even know how to do due, due diligence. Eh. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Oh, how to? Okay, I think uh, uh, this is something that I want to ask, ask Sean also. So when, every time when you say like, you do your homework. Yeah. What allow we do what, yeah? Okay, actually, right. Uh, there are two things that you must take note of for a stock. Number one is uh -huh. qualitative. Qualitative, okay. You, you, you think about buying stocks, like you interview someone to come and work for you. Okay. When you interview for someone to work for you, right, what will you do? Number one, of course, you must have character referee, you must like that guy, right? Meaning you say you must feel that this person can contribute to you. Mm. Same thing, when you buy a stock, you see like ICLN, green energy. Yes, there's a future. This this stock can work for me mm. to make money. Okay. This is called qualitative. What you feel and what you think. That's why interview is based on whether you like the thing or not. Yeah, you like the person or not. So, so mm. if you like space exploration and you like, mm. well, it's okay, it's okay, no problem. You go and like. The next thing is quantitative, mm. data. For me, data is very important. Mm -hmm. Now. Certain sectors, right, they have very strong data, have been making money consistently, and the revenue is growing leaps and bounds. This is showing me that it is a growth company. So, example, if you look at McDonald's, the, the revenue is going down. If you look at, let's say, Microsoft is steadily going up. You look at Tesla, it's going up. Wow, can double every three years. You look at Apple, also double every three years. So, this is data telling you that, yes, their report card is really solid, and they are, the, the feel of them is also good. Mm. Must have this too. Cannot be just tell, tell the story. Your, your, your auntie tell you that this person very good, then you go and hire him. Cannot. Must check report card. However, there are some sectors their report card is not good because they are very new. What do you do? You can still hire the person because you like the person a lot. You feel that yes, space exploration never make money yet. But in the future, sure can one. But I tell you, uh, you better hire the person uh, cheap. Lah. Okay, I mean, yeah. say mm -hmm. you don't pay too, you, don't, cannot, you, cannot, you cannot pay him a CEO salary. Right? Mm -hmm. You pay him a salary at a low amount or you buy smaller amount mm -hmm. and keep it into your portfolio. That, that's why I do. Yes. Uh, a A K R. So so this this something that I do. Hey, what was the question you asked me? Yeah, answer you. Uh, oh no. Uh, oh, do 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 diligence. Do do diligence. Uh, like when you say like re uh, report card. Uh, yeah. Uh, like is there a, a a website that we can? Oh, this one I write down. See or so for like for ETF is ETF.com. Okay. For ETF, ETF is ETF.com. For stocks is Morningstar.com. Stocks is Morningstar.com. So remember, ETF is actually ready-made portfolio. Okay. Stocks is individual stocks. Then you go Morningstar.com. Uh -huh. I will write down this. So, so, that, uh, so if I'm lazy, ETF suits me. Uh. If you're lazy, you better do ETF. Ah. You better do ETF. You don't, okay. you don't go for individual stocks. Okay. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I'm going to pull out some of the other questions. Uh, does it make sense to buy a property, incur ABSD first, then came back later? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Wow, wow, Jonathan. Okay, and, and, okay. So we have a we have a question by Jonathan. He asked me, does it make sense to buy a property and incur the ABSD first and then claim back later? So we call this the ABSD remission. Mm. 
Okay, so I give you two, two scenarios. Okay, first scenario, if let's say your current property is, there's a stu you still have a loan in your current property, so, and you, if you, and you want to keep this first and buy the next property, you need to down pay a 71% down payment. 71% oh, long money. Okay, example, let's say, okay, so back to this question. Okay, Jonathan asks, okay, if I have a property right now, I, I don't want to sell first because mm -hmm. most of people that, that, that they can upgrade is sell buy. So I want type sell buy. Sell then buy. Uh, okay. Many people can't do the buy first and sell later and get back the ABSD. Why? It's because if let's say scenario number one, if let's say you have an outstanding loan right now in your current property, well, if you want to buy the next property, your down payment is 71%. It's like, show what so much. Ah. Mm. So, so if you don't have the same one percent, you don't even need to think about buying first. Mm. Okay. Second scenario, Eric, I have fully paid my property. Oh, very good. So if you have fully paid your property, the next property you buy, you need to down 41%. It's like, whoa, still 41%. Why? Because the next loan, you can only take you can still take 75% loan. So your down payment 25 plus 4%, which is 20, uh, 4% is the stamp duty, so 29% plus ABSD of 12%, that's 41%. So if let's say you have fully paid your property and you are still having 41% of cash and balance CPF after your minimum sum, uh, and you still have 41%, you can buy first. But based on that budget, you may not have a lot of money to buy that much anymore because the down is a lot. And in order to claim back, everyone, there's a big rule in claiming it back for ABSD remission. So everyone, this is a rule. If you do it wrongly, say bye-bye to your ABSD. Let me play some sad music. Okay. <laughs> because got people do wrongly and they cannot claim back. Okay, so what is, what? Uh, so in order to do it, you need to sell the current property in two names and buy the next property in two names. Then you can claim. So let's say, Eric, uh, my current property is one person name. Can I do this? Uh, this one don't need to do anymore. If you do that and people say you can do that, I play the set, set music. Okay. They are gone. Okay, so please, of course, the cleanest way is to sell first and buy one each. La. That's the cleanest. But can you do buy first and remit, uh, get a remission later? Yes, definitely you can, but make sure you have done the homework uh, because uh, you do wrongly. Uh, say bye-bye to ABSD. And if you have paid ABSD, I want to thank the whole Singapore. Uh, I want, uh, on behalf of Singapore, <laughs> I want to thank everyone. Thank you for your nation building. Since everyone is paying tax this month, uh, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, tax decoration. Tax is tomorrow, tax. everyone, tomorrow is your tax decoration deadline. So everyone, please make sure you have done your tax decoration. Suddenly, all the live numbers drop because they go and file tax. <laughs> no, just kidding. Yeah. Okay. So just take note on that, lah. Mm. Wow. Well, a good question. I'll keep it coming. Keep it coming. Yeah. So what do you think of? Oh, oh, Jigo, oh, oh no problem. Uh, the, the first the first thing that I want to uh, this this one is a renewable company. Now, uh, oh. I I want to share with you right. This company GEVO right. Their revenue has been dropping every year. So okay. By the way, someone is asking. Uh, Morningstar is expensive to subscribe. <laughs> Actually, I never subscribe to Morningstar. There's the free service one. So you you type. Okay, so example, uh, I don't know whether you can see that. This GVO from my phone, I can type Morningstar GVO. I know it's a little bit small, right? And they have all the free information for you. You don't need to subscribe to it. Uh, but if you think it's useful, please do subscribe, lah. Okay, okay can okay. I? I? I never subscribe, so I don't know the price. <laughs> so, so, hey, so, everyone, want to invest? Uh, yeah, pay money, lah. Okay, the reason why I don't subscribe, right, is because when you subscribe, you get additional stock analysis. I don't like to read stock analysis. I like to read facts. I like to read facts and find my own opinion. When I read other people's opinions, sometimes I get uh, influenced. Mm. But uh, Morningstar show you all the 10 years, not 10 years series, uh, the 10 years revenue and things like that. So it's actually quite easy. Now, uh, maybe I share with you all one, which website is recommended? Yeah, no, Morningstar. Morningstar is free, huh? You type. Morningstar G is free. GVO Morningstar. You go, you go and type and then you'll see all the 10 years revenue and stuff like that. Now, I, I share with you all maybe, could you like me to share with another three, three more stocks or two more stocks? If yes, you all can type two, la. okay? Two more stocks. Which I think type two. Now, I, I share this, la. then I hand over the time to Eric again. La. Now, uh, my, my, my so-called favorite stock, which is very safe, like I mentioned to you, increased by 10% every year, is BRK slash B. You want to type BRK slash B. Okay, thanks for, thanks for doing that. Okay, <laughs> BRK slash B. Uh. So let me share with you my specific strategy in 2021. In fact, I've been doing this since 2020. Now, BRK slash B, I will buy an option and the option is call option c-a-l-l 
CALL option. This one, uh, if you're interested, let me know. I can actually do a video tutorial on, on this YouTube so that you can learn. Uh. Now the call option, right? I will buy the longest term. So there's like one month option, three months option, two years option. I buy the longest term as far as possible. Which is two years. 800 days, yeah, maybe two years or even like two years plus, even near three years. Wow. Okay. So now let me share with you. Is it expensive to buy and all that? Yes, but it's worth it, it's worth it. Actually, it's, it's cheap considered, uh, like I told you, about 20% of the stock price. Now, then let me let me share with you what happened. Uh. After I buy the longest term call, this is exactly what I do. Three months later, exactly three months later, I will review the stock. Let me share with you exactly what I do. Uh. So some of you may be shocked what I do. Three months later, actually right now, uh, tomorrow, 15th of April, right, it's about three months the time that I review my stock. What I'll do is right, that day, I will go into my account, I will sell away all my stocks. Yep. Now, uh, it is a practice that I've been conducting for a while. It is very useful. Let me let me explain. Uh. I sell away all my stocks, then I get back all my money, right? I don't care the stock price up, down, left, right? I don't care. I sell away all my stocks, then it all become cash. Okay. I take the pool of cash and I ask myself, with this cash right now, what will I invest in? And sometimes I'll be surprised, right, that you invest back into the same stocks. Now, why three months? Because every three months, there will be a, a new long-term call. Meaning you say, I can extend my long-term call. Okay, okay. Okay, so, so I will have a longer-term call. Up. Now, but, but to put it simply, uh, if, even if you don't use option, let's say you don't use option, right? You buy Apple, you buy uh, uh, Berkshire Hathaway, mm. you buy, okay, another two stocks that I'm looking at is Johnson & Johnson and 3M. Johnson & Johnson recently, they got one <laughs> vaccine. <laughs> uh. Yeah, they kinda, they, they got some issues because of the blood clot. Uh, six people got blood clot when they, when they actually inject. So I suspect the stock price may drop a bit. I'm going to enter Johnson & Johnson because I believe in the strong fundamentals of the company. 3M, interestingly, also recently quite cheap. So as I buy all these stocks, right, three months later, right, the stock price can go up. It can go down. That's where a lot of people are confused. They ask me, hey, Sean, the price go up already. Should I sell? The price go down already. Should I sell? They always ask me this, right? Mm. For me, I say, just sell. Okay, why? Uh? Sell, sell away already. Then you take a look. So if I, I sell away, let's say 3M drop, I sell. I sell, I sell Johnson. Everything I sell, I take the money. Let's say from uh, now, after sell away, everything you got 100K. How will you allocate the 100K from start, from fresh? Mm -hmm. Very, very interestingly, uh, now yeah. you can go back and treat. Huh? Yeah. But you, okay, so you take back your 100K. Yeah. So, and you will go and rethink what to invest allocation. Fresh, fresh mind. So this, you will keep for three months also. Another three months. Now, let me share with you. It sounds very short term, but actually it's a very good practice. You know why? Let's say I buy 3M and the price drop. Mm -hmm. All right. So I sell away everything. After I sell away everything, uh, imagine you are starting uh, again. Right. You look at 3M now. Eh? Suddenly a lot of people tell me, it's eh, very cheap, I should buy, you know? Uh. Now, then, then you, you're going to buy it. However, if you hold on to 3M and it drop, right? You feel like, hey, I'm losing money. Then you don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. My friends, if, if let's say you ask, the, the question I want to ask you is this. 3M is here, you buy already, it dropped. Mm. Imagine you haven't buy. You haven't buy. Your friend bought, but you haven't buy. Looking at the price drop here, will you buy now? A lot of people will buy. Mm. But if you are the one who bought it here and now it's here, you don't know what to do. You become very confused. Mm. So the simplest thing is sell everything and then reallocate. And very interestingly, I've been doing this for three months. Uh, every time I buy back the same stock, mm. I buy back the same stock because it actually still can hold. It even go up, it is still considered cheap. Even go down, even cheaper. Sometimes I allocate even more. It helps me psychologically what to do. And you know what's the best thing? Right now, a lot of the brokerage, right? The fees is near zero. So when you go in, go out like that, right? Even you buy back the same stock, it's very stupid you pay brokerage fee. It is a very little brokerage fee to pay for a very strong psychology. So options in losses, I will still sell. I will just sell everything and then I re-enter. You, you know what I'm saying? I re-enter. Wow. Mm. This is called portfolio management. <laughs> now I learned from Pete. Ah. Hey, where are you? I think hey. you are here. How come Pete is uh, going onto your Facebook instead of mine? I don't know. Eh. He... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this is what I do. Lah. Okay, so this is... This is what I do, and, and I think that uh, many in beginning investors should practice this. By the way, I only do this recently. I don't do this last time. Eric, every three months sell property. Then I well, gonna, gonna SSD and die at two years. I sell away everything. Everything. Stocks, okay, call so options, stocks, you everything I sell. Property, you can't do that. Mm. Okay, okay. Yeah. And so this, this is what I do. I know that it's not conventional, uh, but if you are being trained by me, I'll ask you to do that. Uh, but, but, but you train my Pete and uh, they may ask you to do different things. Uh. Mm. For me, it helps me a lot because my friends, they see the price fluctuate, they don't know what to do. Actually, you know what to do one. It's just that you you, you have fear or you have mm. greed. Mm. You take away everything, you know what to do already. Mm. Nah, your means must enter on the same day. Uh. Okay, uh, one, <laughs> one, two days, no difference enough. Everything's with your potential. 
I'll go already. Yeah. Bye-bye. Hey, no, hey wh- why, why my follower uh, type the things are uh, not constructive one? Eh? You see, Sean follower, what loud? You see, they ask very, what, uh, so, uh, <laughs> what? But the things they ask, uh, I don't understand. What? Smiley call, uh, uh, so, Sean, oh. what is this? Stop, what loud? You're, you're like, you're I don't mind uh, the RKA, <laughs> la. I didn't buy that. La. Okay. So, hey, Pete is here. We should ask him to talk about Bitcoin. Hey, so, any other property things or you want to talk about Bitcoin or, 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 or property? He's really very strong. Uh, and okay, la. Once you committed into property, you yeah. choose the right one, time will work for you. Yeah. And the best thing is there's no way out for you for yeah, the next This is my favorite. But I think right now there's a very exciting time that uh, right now we are going into seller's market. So everyone type seller's market right now. Why? And right now, many of my people, they are selling their property at record prices. Eh? So uh, recently we have a member who stays in Sengkang. He's an EC. He's just sold like yet like today. Uh, today just sold his four bedroom EC at 1.4 million. Eh. Where, where's my sound effect? Oh, sorry, I love this. I like, uh, 1.4 million f- uh, for a uh, for a uh, for a uh, like just T uh, just MOP EC. Four hmm. bedroom one point uh, four bedroom at 1.4 million. And I see that a lot of my members they are uh, upgrading, which is to sell their flat, and right now they are getting COV, everyone type COV. I never heard of this this phase like, for a long time. Eh. Like short form for COVID. Eh. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, hey, but, but in, in US they say I got a cough. Uh, it's the actually cough, a but, but, but we love but HDB all love cough. Okay. Because COVID. it's COV, uh, cash, cash over, over valuation. valuation uh. Uh, yeah. So uh, recently we have a member also sold their flat at 40,000 COV, which is quite cool. Ma. And because right now the market is like moving up, you're lucky because right now we are at the start of moving up. And this one really happy eh, because we, had, we it, property market has been like very very bored, especially COVID for quite quite some time. But right now we are going up, and one of the participants like yesterday, I spoke to him previously. Many of uh, previously his portfolio, his HDB is in a negative sale. Negative sale means you sell your property, you don't get back any cash. Ah, uh, so that is called negative sale. And uh, right now because the market is going up. Uh, the recent transaction in his blog transacted about 100k higher than what we have uh, calculated before. So with the 100k more, uh, 100k a lot of money. Eh. So with the 100k more, uh, it's not negative anymore. Wow. So so it give a lot of uh, give people a lot of uh, 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 chance to upgrade right now because we are going up. So this is a uh, this is the latest news to everyone because mm. right a, a few months ago we are in the buyers market. Right now, we are turning a bit to the seller's market. So if you are planning to upgrade, you can sell at a very good price now. So that is good for you. Yeah, so so how long will seller markets last? Wow, this one. Wow, this one. Uh, I guess, Mr. okay, uh, this one not, no, they are easy to, uh, to, these are quite easy because as long as our government, hey, our government, please don't look at my Facebook live. Uh, if they don't come out any more cooling measure, it will be, it will be a good run. So, and, but again, cooling measure is also good for, to cool the market, la, if it's really go out of the way. Mm. Uh, so if there's nothing, la, because we really don't know like what will happen, is, is there an like, upcoming what cooling measure? What will I foresee? What, la, if I know I won't be here already. Uh. So uh, if everything <laughs> run, sticks the same. For Prime Minister. Yeah, yeah, if everything sticks the same, uh, we are having a good run for property. Oh. Because you can actually see now that people are selling at a good price right now. Yeah, so that is a good thing to do now. So we are at the start and we are not like halfway there. We, we are at the start. That's yeah. good, that's good. Yeah, that's good. But know. I guess I guess a lot of the a lot of time try this question try, it depends on your time frame. Mm. It depends on your time frame. Because, because for property is very very different. You need to plan, you need to sell, you need to do your loan before you can sell, before mm. you can buy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like stocks like, oh I got ready, I can buy. I just click, click, I buy. <laughs> Uh, but I think for property, that's true, that's true. when you do a lot of preparation, that's why everyone type preparation. Uh, preparation is very important. If you want to make your big pot of gold from property, you need to do research, everything. So that's why uh, I, I come for my program. Uh, that's the uh, easiest. You want to know, I go for Sean's program. That's the easiest. Uh, so at least you have somebody <laughs> to guide you step by step. Because I think if I'm a beginner for property, uh, uh-huh. oh, really, uh, there's a lot of things to do. Uh, loan, how right, to right. do loan, uh, how I know my budget. Uh, the interest rate if go up how oh, things like that. Okay, but do homework, la, do homework. Uh, do homework. I think these are found basics, la, quite basic. But if you right. get your foundations right, yeah, 
I think it will give you a lot of confidence to go into like, if, if, like if, <laughs> even for today, I, I, I know like ETF, I know Morningstar. Yeah. Because for property, I use Square Foot. I oh, use I URA Master Plan. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so it's something that I learned. So it gives me a lot of confidence to uh, enter the stocks that, of course, before that, I want to do my own due, due diligence. Lah. Just like property, you can only have one shot and that one shot, it takes up maybe a few hundred thousand of your life savings to buy that right one uh, and you can only buy one you cannot buy wrongly so you need to learn everyone so i'm here actually today to also want to catch up with sean to also learn i want to get some tips la, because i'll build portfolio ma. okay yeah. la, brk johnson and johnson yeah, yeah. Hey, but, but, but for, for property yeah really really go and uh do your due diligence don't 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 rush but don't 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 wait la. yeah i got some people i know they wait for everyone they wait for one year two yeah, years. yeah like well, we are getting older and older eh. you are not very young ma. so zaven thai is buying a new property good time now yeah out of the 34 new launches for this year i think only one and two are good ones the rest are quite shitty so uh why shitty why uh because again you could you can only buy one shot and not a lot of properties are easy to exit like uh, yeah, we talk about exit for stocks, it's like easy to exit. Yeah, right? later we go to the stocks Q&A yeah. because now there's quite a number of uh, property Q&A. Uh, so oh, so okay. we, will, we will bombard so, you. Yeah, so, so, so quick one. Uh, so it's, it's very, uh, good property, good time now. I think for people who are starters, uh, new launch is good to start because the prices are relatively no, low and oh. the entry is uh, okay, it's quite safe. Only for those uh, good condos. Uh. You don't buy those what Atas one, that one different story. La. I mean, we want to buy something that we can exit easily. That is a tip. You want to buy something that can exit easily. High volume. Is it? High volume. Ah, yeah. So we talk about high volume. Yeah. We, uh, in property, we talk about uh, big projects. Big projects, okay. Uh, so high volume, volume. Uh. So yeah, some, it's quite a light. La. Large so, development. Uh, but more people. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, it's better to have big than very small. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, buy property. Uh, but after that, you don't need to buy new anymore. So because a uh, good new launch can only make you uh, 150 to 200K. Can only make you. Actually, it's a very good healthy profits for three years. Mm. But if you want to break through these three years of 200,000 profits, resale properties are the way to go. Because when you buy resale, resale properties, properties. This person asking resale market dropping. My colleague just bought a jumbo in uh, Tampanis at 5, 10K. Oh, so, wait, 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 everyone, sorry, one hour, sorry, 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 different market. Eh. Oh, when I talk about resale, ah, I'm talking about condo. Eh. Oh, condo, condo. Uh, never buy resale flat, guys. <laughs> hey, your friend who bought, uh, your friend already bought a resale jumbo at Tampanese at 510 k This is my answer. <laughs> Gone, nah. Sorry, sorry, because uh, I will, every time when I say resale market, I talk about resale condos. Private, private, yeah. I don't buy, I don't get my people to upgrade to a resale flat. Uh, sorry, sorry. So I must make my terms correctly. Uh. If mm. not, it will be very blur. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, next question we have like. I'm going to uh, pull all the questions. Though. Wow, okay, okay. So, okay. Iggy, uh, Aggie. Aggie asked this question. Eric, can you comment if Pure Lander will appreciate more than the cluster housing and condos? Uh, you'll be surprised right now. Wow, landed how tall sell eh? Landed ah. Uh. Wow, wait, wait. Landed increased a lot in the past six months. Mm. Okay, everyone. Tomorrow will be uh my my webinar and I will be touching a lot of figures. Oh. If I'm not wrong, because I haven't done the slides yet. The last quarter ah. Uh, right. Uh, I remember landed increased by how many percent? Two 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 three percent eh? Two three percent. Okay. One quarter. Right? Okay. And recently I heard how. I think the last quarter runs by like 5%. Eh? Okay. So imagine if, if mass market, let, let, let's say called lender at 3 million. 5% ah. for 5, 5% is 150,000. Eh? Right. So right now lenders are going a lot higher. Mm. Okay. Cluster housing is not good to enter. Uh, mm. Okay. I, that's my view. Lah. Everyone, I, I just want to share my view. Uh, uh, I don't like cluster is because cluster is a small project. Clusters are usually small projects and they don't have that kind of volume. So if can, uh, try don't buy cluster. Uh. I'd rather that you buy bigger size condo mm. than cluster. So that's my advice. Mm. I love it. Okay. This one. Tan Ping Ping. Wow, I like your name. It's so cute. Uh. Hi, Eric. Can Ping I check if I put my 15-year-old son's name on a trust for private property, do I still have to pay ABSD? Am I eligible for a housing loan for this property then? Wow, Tan Ping Ping, you're very rich. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why? Because Why? usually when you, when we buy property in uh-huh. trust, you need to fully pay the property. Got it. So, so, can't take loan so you can't take loan. Yeah. Is that ABSD? No ABSD. Mm. So uh, yes. So if you if you are okay, so not wise uh, But unless you are super rich, you are billionaire, then yeah, because billionaires mm. do that for their kids. They okay. buy below twenty one years old on their kids. Then they fully pay the property. And you cannot cash out to do other things. Right. But you can still reinvest in your kid's name. So let's say you have kid number one, 15 years old. You buy, you sell three years later, you make a profit. The money will be still in your kid's trust. You right. can use the money to reinvest again and again. Mm-hmm. Until 21 years old, then you can take back the money for you to go and uh, buy other things on your own. But not wise because... We buy properties because of leverage, of the right. safe leverage. That's why with low, a bit of down payment, we can make very good returns. Ma. Mm. So now you fully pay your property. Uh. Then 2% what? per quarter only, right? Yeah, Which so you don't good. make a lot of money. Eh. So and plus, uh, that's why I say, unless you have a lot of money. Uh, yeah. but okay, It's, it's uh, not the wisest okay. thing. Uh. Property yeah, actually, one of the key things is you can leverage. You safety. can leverage. Ma. So mm. that's why my advice is you leverage, you buy two, one each first. Husband one, wife one. Later, the rest of money, maybe you want to... Uh, don't touch, uh, because I want... Uh, I mean, if you still want to expand your portfolio, you can go into commercial offices. Mm. But don't buy that first, uh, although I have a few. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, but t- touching on leverage, I-, I swing to this question that they have okay. about stocks. Uh. So, mm. I know we are swinging here and there because, again, it's an okay, uh, unplanned live show, right? So, Glenn is asking uh, whether you should be using CFD to buy stocks. This one is a leverage on stocks. I think it's a terrible idea. It's a super terrible idea. I'm sorry for people who... Okay, there's, there's a question on uh, the other one. Is Should yeah. I be using CFD to buy stock? Yeah, uh, yeah. So what's the answer? If, if really, if I mean, if you're my friend or let's say you're my brother or whoever buying stocks, uh, I, I would say, please don't do that. Reason being, uh, every time you use... CFD is actually the the brokerage. Uh, they give you a, a way to leverage. Uh. You put in, let's say 10,000, you can buy even 40,000 worth of stocks or maybe 70,000 wow. depending okay. on the rules. Uh. Five, seven times. But every time, uh, let's say you put 10,000, right? And then let's say you are using a CFD account and you only buy 5,000 worth of stocks, which is which is technically you haven't used their money, right? Uh. Because you put in 10,000, uh, you use 5,000 worth uh, of cash to buy stocks, right? Mm-hmm. They start to charge you interest and the interest can be as high as 7%. So so read the fine prints, uh, which is which is working against you. Every time you, you, you put money there, Every day you're losing money. You must know that. Uh. You must know that. Okay, so, so I, I do not, not wise line. So it's not wise. <laughs> yeah, I, I do not think it's a wise idea to buy a UCFD. Use use option. And just now I think Yi Yi Feng, Huang Yi Feng say right. Uh I think he was asking about six months one. Now I want to share with you. Uh really please buy the longest call option. Never pinch or save money on time. Because mm. When you buy an option, there's this thing called time decay. La. Every day, every day, right, it's becoming worth lesser. But you buy a very long one, every day is you just lose maybe a few cents only. So buy the longest one. Please do that. Again, if you're my friend, you're my, my brother or whoever, just go for the longest one. I don't don't save money on, on time. Go for the longest one. So my idea is this. Some, some people was asking me. Mm. So I buy the stocks. I, I told you, right, after I buy the stocks or I buy the options or whatever instrument that I buy inside my portfolio, three months later, I sell away everything and I buy again. Now, people ask, hey, do you make money that three months? Actually, that, that is not important to me. It is a way to decide whether I will continue to hold the stock. So if the stock price goes up, uh, you ask myself, hey, should I hold? Uh, will it go higher? Uh, it is very hard to make the decision three months later if you are holding on to the stocks because you hold on to the stocks already. You enter at a certain price, it has gone up. You enter at a certain price, it has gone down. There's emotions and you cannot think carefully because you are emotionally, uh, 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 I would say, involved. But if the price goes up and you sell away the stocks, then you look at a higher price and you say, at this higher price, why enter again? Mm, you have a clearer mind. You, have, you, you start afresh. And sometimes mm. you say, hey, yeah, it is still worth it and you buy again. So basically, it's like you're holding the stock. Huh? It is the same effect as holding the stock. It is just a discipline of you understanding what is the best action to do at that point in time mm. if, you have not, if you are not holding on to the stock. It is easier to think through when you're not holding. Okay. When you're holding, you cannot think. That, that, that's my... I don't know whether I'm confusing you guys uh, even further. Okay, we have yeah. a question here. Master Xia. <laughs> you are like, uh, oh, Feng Shui is Master Xia. The longest call option is ITM, ATM, or OTM. Okay, that one, that one based on uh, my own personal experience, right? It doesn't matter that much. Can you tell me? Oh, in the money, at the money, out of the money. So, okay, uh, <laughs> I think this person, he knows about options now. Okay. Personally, personally, I will go ATM. ATM means... Example, example, uh, oh. uh, the stock price is $200. Mm-hmm. I put a deposit to lock in the stock price at $200. Okay. You can put a deposit to lock in the stock price at $300 also can. 
or one okay. joystick. You can do that. Uh. You can you can switch on. Uh. Okay. But you 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 go for ATM. Why uh? administratively not so confusing? If you if you buy a 200 call, means you lock in the stock price at the price now, right? You will remember what price you enter. Uh. That, that's for administrative purposes. Uh, how to optimize it? There's a way to optimize, but I think that optimization is not worth the headache, in my opinion. Okay, so this is this is uh okay. Uh, so stop uh, any, any more thing. Uh? Y'all can chemistry very good. Uh. Don't use CFD, please. Don't use CFD. To me, I, I think it's a very, it's a super double issue. It's very, very scary. Okay, ah, James say full full payment in the property tree. Money can buy more stock. Ah, correct. <laughs> this is for the 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 the, the, the participant. Ooh. Depends on depends on the depends on your skills level. Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay. It, there, there's no such thing as stocks better or property better. It's which one is better for you, which one is more suitable for you. Mm. I, I think that's very important. Mm. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, now maybe okay, we, we, we answer one last question. Okay, we have a question. Uh, Zayven ah, okay. say, Nomentum Park, good, uh, very big volume. Uh, wow, Nomentum Park is to me in the forest, eh. so uh, so don't, don't, don't buy it. Uh. <laughs> don't buy it. Uh. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't, uh, because the price, they are selling with like, okay, it's very central, but, but they are selling with MRT prices, which is in the forest, so uh, it's, not, it, it's not in my top 10 at all. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so having big big volume doesn't mean that that's the only factor. Eh. It, yeah. There's other factors also, eh. because since I, I, I say you can only buy one, you cannot you that you must put in a lot of factors to make sure that this is the best for you at the moment. Yeah, great. Hey, so so let me see. Uh, because uh, Daniel was asking me a question. He said, oh yeah, yeah, Sean. So, hey, oh, sorry, Daniel. I missed, not, yeah. I think I missed yeah, this yeah, question. I saw, well. uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So so hey, like Daniel, Daniel, yeah. Example, oh, yeah, uh, you buy NIO, right? You buy NIO, then three months later it drops. So the question is, drop at time, should you hold or should you sell? Now, the simplest idea is you sell everything, then you look at the NIO price now. Will you enter some more? If you will not enter at that price, right, means that you should sell. Huh? So you actually created a, a, a decision for yourself already. Okay, but if let's say you say, hey, NIO drop, drop already, and then, okay, again, uh, you sell away everything, uh, you take your money and say, hey, NIO now so cheap, I'll buy more. So in fact, you should have hold. So this, this exercise help you to have a clearer idea on what to decide. I, I hope that answers your question now. Hey, so, Hey guys, now it's a uh, nine fifteen already, right? So, no. hey, you got any questions? Okay, no. last last question because I have people who say, okay, last question, uh. Okay, uh, okay. What is the average capital appreciation for resale condo near MRT after three years? Um. Okay. If okay, so this is a tip for you. If you are planning to buy this area with MRT and no other developments in this area, whatever under value property. Whatever undervalue that you make three years later, you'll make the same. Example, uh, let's say the property you buy today, the valuation is 1.5 million, and you are able to get at 1.4 million. Three years later, you can sell at 1.5 million. That is in three years' time. And being very, very conservative. Uh, but if you are buying in a, a resale area with Upcoming MRT, hmm. upcoming shopping mall, upcoming hawker center. Oh, you know, upcoming, that's, the one, that's the one that you recommend me, no? Uh, it's upcoming all coming stuff, already. Upcoming stuff. Uh, uh, you definitely will must also buy under so that you can make at least 100. Then whatever future gains, maybe another 100,000, then you make safely 200 in three years. No? So I hope that will answer. And okay, wow, this Daniel Power I can ask stocks, can ask property. <laughs> okay, last one. Uh, okay, last one. Uh. So Eric, what do you oh. think of refreshes at Capital Bay versus Caribbean looking to buy for family? Uh, that area is an area that lose a lot of money on it. But although, although people lose a lot of money, I think it is okay for you to enter if you are planning for own stay, but get a good price uh, because a lot of people are uh, bought by foreign investors last time, especially refractions. Uh. They, lose a they lose a lot of money, uh, so please help them lose more by getting something good for your own stay, for, for your family, for own stay. Uh. Okay, uh, and, and because refractions has, has that view, different uh, you have the what? Park your shit view, park, park your yeah. yard view, or some is nice. no view. Uh, so just think of the view, the stack must compare before you enter. Uh, because this one, there's a lot of factors. This one got the three factors, uh, size, floor, view. and the view. Uh. So must take note on buy, that. Buy the boat to stay. Uh. <laughs> buy the boat to stay. I, I just went to talk to this guy called Darren Lee. He buy it. He stayed there. Ah, you okay, the, yeah, 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 but yeah, one, yeah. the one lose money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, so it's already 9.15, so we want to... Okay, wrap, wrap up. Yeah, wrap up. So wrap I, up. I quickly finish this three questions. Okay, so come, number come. one, do you exercise the option? Answer is no, I don't exercise option. I close the option, okay? So same thing, vertical call, close. I don't do vertical call, by the way. It's a, it's a, it's a gamble, okay? 
And then uh, this one, you need to buy the longest. Uh, sorry, if you all don't understand. <laughs> hey, by the way, if you're interested in options, let me know. I will actually do a tutorial to teach you uh, more. Learn, 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 uh, learn, learn, learn. Yeah. Why do we still need to buy the longest duration? Okay, so I always uh, extend my duration. My, my whole idea is I want to buy the stock for long term one. Okay. So I keep I keep extending the duration so that my core option will never ever expire. So this is my strategy. This is my strategy. Okay, can we just have three months duration for core option? Uh, the answer is this is gambling. La. This is gambling and I, I, I don't like to gamble. La. For me, I like to actually buy long term one. Okay, so so guys, I, I, I know that uh, it's already 9.15. Uh, if you have more questions, we'll do more specific tutorials for that. Eric has a class tomorrow talking all about properties. You have more questions. Uh, can updates, go everything. So mm. I give you the link. Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is okay. So this is the this is the webinar right. tomorrow nine nine o'clock. So uh, go and register inside. There will be a lot of information because I will be touching the latest quarter and how well we do for HDB or uh, HDB. Uh, the property prices in uh, price index la, already so i'll be updating everyone on how well the market is moving by right. looking at the past three months la. so uh, everything will be inside and what, what are the strategies uh to buy for this one year so if you want to know more how to start your property portfolio la, how to don't buy the wrong one la, mm. uh then you uh so tomorrow uh, which is yeah savvy live webinar which yeah. is tomorrow 9 p.m okay for sean wise okay, okay uh sean and okay i also have a youtube channel so you can search eric chu you will know me la. eric mm. chu my chu got i one c h i e w so that's my yeah. youtube channel let me put a youtube and, also. um okay for sean 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 okay so so for 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 me i actually put a link down here is it's basically my mailing list la. basically i want to know what questions you have once you're in my mailing list, I will tell you about the next tutorial. It is mainly on my YouTube. So right now, I personally, I don't really conduct class for options anymore. I'll be placing everything that I do on YouTube. But if you're interested in some classes on options and other things, I can refer you to other classes that, I mean, some, some of you mentioned OMI and things like that, right? You can actually go and attend. Okay, so OMI, uh, which is conducted by Pete. So he's the big boss. La. Okay, so this is this is my, my, my current mailing list. You can click on the mailing list. Once you're inside, I will update you. And you can tell me what, what tutorials you want. You want about options, you want about, you, you go to my YouTube channel. Some people want me to teach you how to become more, more muscular and stuff like that. Actually, I, I've been working out and I'll be sharing some tips because I think it's linked. Your, your fitness, your health, every day you can do something to improve yourself. So my channel is called Everyday Sean. I feel that I'm just an everyday guy. Uh, and I do uh, something every single day to make ourselves stronger mm. and also richer. I believe every day, uh, you can become richer or poorer one. Correct. I mean, yeah. I think agree, right? it's, yeah. it's habits. Correct. In terms of health, relationship, your wealth. Great. So I do hope that you guys have learned something. If you did, uh, really just let us know what other questions you have. And that's where we, we want to actually help you guys as much as possible. And frankly, how does it benefit me? Uh? The more I help people, actually, the more I learn also. Yeah. Uh, it motivates me to keep in shape, keep in my own habits so that I... I continue to value do what I preach. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, everyone, please give Sean a round of applause for being like so helpful. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I love got, the sound effect. I got sound effect one way. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so okay. So guys, thank you so much for Sean. And uh again, go ahead and subscribe Eric. to his uh your, your channel. Is mm. that a channel? Oh yeah, uh, that, that one is my mailing list. I uh, will, okay, I so will... when subscribe to his mailing mailing list, I will send you my channel. Really. Yeah. And uh chair, okay, me. This is the, your channel, right? Yeah. I also put in uh, Eric's uh, YouTube channel. I think that's the place that we share information on freely. And yeah. that's where you so, can uh, 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 link up with us. Okay, cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Sean. Hope yes, to, bro. I, I think we should do this quite... Uh, I think sh we should not meet every one year. La, because the previous one is one year ago. Uh, so I think maybe you should maybe update per quarter la, minimum. La. Sure, no. Quarter, say only. La, okay, okay, okay. La. Great, great, great. I go and organize. La. So quarter, quarter. <laughs> Quarter okay, okay, okay la. Like okay, okay. April next one, three months later. Oh, just nice. I will re, I will re, uh, balance my portfolio. I'll review my portfolio next. Uh, maybe, maybe some stocks change. Yep. Okay, uh, okay. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and it's time to go and eat supper. <laughs> okay. Uh. You want to be buff? You cannot eat supper. Okay. I mean, can I? Can I? Okay. Hey, okay, okay, bye. Thanks, see you. you. Bye bye.